for Glenn Asset here, leading intuitive business strategist and women's transformation catalyst. I absolutely adore supporting women to bring forward their soul work in the most transformational way possible, both for themselves and for their clients, so that they can have the maximum level of impact and income in this world. So I wanted to drop in quickly today and have a chat about the five things that I wish someone had told me when I first started my coaching business. So the first one is to package your brilliance into a transformational offering. Now, when I first started my coaching business, I was looking at, okay, so what can I support people with? You know, I was working um, by the hour, single hours. I, I really was coming from a place of what can I offer? You know, it was all about me rather than how can I serve my clients at the deepest level? And it's when we come from that place of how can I support their transformation? What transformation and I best position to facilitate for them that we get to a place of alignment in our offering and in our service and in our success. So number two is to spend as much time nurturing my energy as I do on the strategy. So I wish, I wish, I wish someone had had told me this and kind of given me permission to to really honour my own energy and to understand at such a deep level how it's a huge part of what we're actually able to bring forward and how we're actually able to serve our clients. So, you know, a lot of the work that I do now is really based on this understanding that we, we need to bring both the strategy and the energy forward in what we do to be our whole selves and to provide a holistic solution for people as well because we're not just machines we're we're human beings right we we are all energetic beings having this experience so we need to be met on every level so as a coach that's something that you need to be aware of when you're working with your clients is that they need to be met on every level so that was number two so number three is that service is king when it comes to sales and marketing. So, so many um, women that I know, and I know that this was my experience as well, have this kind of, oh, this aversion to sales and marketing at the start because the way that it's been prescribed um, in the past and, you know, through my banking and finance degree is is this kind of very um, one-dimensional and prescriptive method but again it's kind of like that may be the structure and that may be the strategy but there's so much more to it you know there's the energetic side of things and you know essentially we never want to be coming from a place of force or push or anything like that because that doesn't feel good to us or to our pers prospective client but when we switch uh, flick the switch on that and we come from a place of service like how can I be of the greatest level of service to this human to this woman to this individual then everything shifts the way we approach it shifts the energy surrounding it shifts and the way that we're received shifts as well so this is huge and this is not just for sales this is for marketing as well always being of service service is king so the fourth thing that I wish that I had been told when I started my coaching business is that I am enough and worthy exactly as I am. So there's a lot of noise out there. There's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of people doing, you know, whatever they're doing. And I, when we're starting out, it's easy to be in that space of kind of, comparison and seeing what other people are doing and feeling like we're not good enough and all of these kinds of things when essentially what we need to understand especially as as female entrepreneurs is that what we're able to bring forward you know that our value and our worthiness is 
is really related to, yes, what we can do in a practical sense, but there's so much more. There's so much more that's intangible. So our, our energy, our emotionality, our connection to spirit, to God, to source, to whatever you consider that to be. Um, you know, there's so much more, so many more kind of um, dimensions and subtlety to our value and our worthiness as women. So I, I feel like that's one of the reasons that it's really challenging, can be really challenging for women to own their worth. And it's something that I am incredibly passionate about supporting women to do. So that's number four that I wish someone had told me. So number five is that you will be successful. It's a given. The only way that you can fail is if you give up. So enjoy the journey. So when we continue towards something, when we hold the vision strong and we are moving in that direction and we are growing and evolving as we move towards that thing, success is a given if we continue along that path, that path of alignment and that path of, um, you know, moving towards the vision, the higher vision that we have for ourselves in our lives. We will get there. You know, there are definitely ways to speed up the process. And that's one of the things that I love to support my clients with. But you will get there. You know, if you have that vision and if you really deeply desire that and it's in alignment with you, then you will get there. So, you know, enjoy the journey. Don't be so hard on yourself. Um, so those are the five things that I wish someone had told me when I first started my coaching business. I hope that um, you've enjoyed them. Much love.